Trans Surfer and the Trans Surfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today, this is going to be one of my little get tough express lessons of the day because lately I have noticed so many people in both my real world and my virtual world that are in pain. In pain because of some kind of loss in pain because of some type of uncertainty, right? There's a lot of uncertainty right now. It's causing a lot of people pain. I know that a lot of people have had a tremendous amount of loss of family and friends and spouses. I have a friend that um, just lost his spouse and I can really sense that there's two different camps um, of how people deal with pain and how people approach pain. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit in this video today. I'm going to talk about my own experience with pain this year and my active state of pain. Yes, I'm actually in pain right now because of a number of pretty valid reasons, but it's the perspective in which I, which, in which I choose to, to really see that pain from and, and in my relationship to that pain and how I use that pain to help me actually achieve some higher lifelines. It's very, very magical when you can click into this mode of realizing that all that's all that's happening to you is happening for you and this is a little mantra that i've sort of adopted in the last few years and i've used it quite a bit it's not happening to you it's happening for you right and this is really what it's about diving into whatever is causing you pain and extracting from that pain the lessons and opportunity that you can and then using that pain to actually make your life better, which it absolutely can. Before I get started, remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. This is really exactly what this is about. My world is taking care of me. Anytime that I've encountered any pain, my world's taking care of me. Everything's going according to plan. Things are working out beautifully and will continue to do so with these. This helps me, um, this allows me to stay plugged into a state of advantage and understand that really events never have any factual meaning, only the meaning that we assign to them. So we get to choose. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that, um, the, that series of books when you were a kid, choose your own adventure. Right? It's kind of like that. It's like, okay, so what is that event going to mean for you? What is that loss going to mean for you? And this sticker definitely helps me stay in contact with that. Um, please remember to subscribe and like this video. Catch us on Facebook, link below. And if you would like to dive into my teachable course, Reality 2.0, link below as well. So positive pain, and I really view I mean, all pain can essentially be positive, no matter how, no matter how the event or how the the the, the trauma, um, uh, how impactful it's been on your life. You can always, no matter what has happened, you can always extract some sort of lesson or some sort of meaning why you encountered this version of reality and again use it to your benefit but it, it, it is all about perspective if you do not see whatever is causing you pain in this very moment from this perspective as it is a positive attribute to you and your reality and your growth then it's not going to be that way, right? So there's kind of two ways that we can we can go about pain and I've sort of depicted them here. And um, before I get to that, I just wanna read this quote that I, I, I saw a couple of days ago that sort of inspired this, uh, this lesson. Every pain is a gift, every pain is an opportunity. And it really is, for me, 
I have, I have suffered a tremendous deal in my life. I mean, I've had all sorts of, you know, traumatic things happen to me and abuse and neglect and, and lots and lots and lots of um, environmental turmoil and dysfunction, family dysfunction and all kinds of stuff. And for a lot of my life, I used my pain as an excuse to not grow. I used my pain as an excuse to be emotionally, um, to, 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 not, to not evolve emotionally, right? Well, I've had it harder than other people. Well, I, you know, I never was given the tools to blah, 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 blah. And I, you know, and, and constantly pushing my pain out into the world in a way where I was using it to keep myself small, right? To keep people at a distance, to keep myself small, to keep myself from evolving, to keep myself from having to take accountability. And I said it here, I blame, right? So, so this is the version of me that uses pain in a way that does not suit me or my intentions or help me to connect with that higher version of myself. This is the lower nature me that is um, luxuriating in my pain and using it in a way that is actually detrimental to myself. So this version of me, I don't approach pain with awareness and meaningful questions. This is really big because now, whenever I experience pain, right? So something happens in my family or something's not going a specific way in my professional world that I would like to see or, you know, just basic pain from being quarantined the whole year or not being able to travel or live my life in the same, in the same manner that I had done prior to this whole um, COVID thing. This has caused a lot of people a tremendous amount of pain. And again, perfect example I don't approach of, of, of this statement. I don't approach pain with awareness and meaningful questions. This is people that have fallen back on their vices, drinking, taking drugs, trying to trying to accomplish a state of oblivion so they could in fact escape their pain. So retracting into pain, right? Staying in your box or tracking into it and pushing it out onto your world in a blameful or um, emotionally dysfunctional sort of way. This, this equates to regression, fear-based living, and stagnation. For me, at least, this is absolutely true. So again, regression, anytime I would feel hurt, I would sort of regress to that, to that child, right? To that child that wasn't properly cared for, to that child that um, was, was, was fearful or confused or whatever. And I would retract into that state. And again, there's no place for growth there, right? There's no opportunity for growth there because I'm, again, not taking that pain and using it in a productive way. I'm grabbing onto it and I'm sort of falling backwards and allowing it to take me back to some of those lower lifelines. Fear-based living, obviously, I mean, a lot of people are doing this right now. The uncertainty of life, the uncertainty of their professions, the uncertainty of their relationships, the uncertainty of the state of the world or politics or whatever, but viewing viewing everything that's going on with, with you personally or your external world through a filter of, of you feeling pain, of not, not seizing whatever opportunities or gifts that are there and choosing then to see reality through that fear-based filter that you've created. And again, there's really no place for growth there. And then obviously stagnation, same thing. It's, it's you, it's you staying inside of your comfort zone. And especially when you encounter pain, a lot of people, including myself, my initial response still is to retract, right? To retract and to go inward and to place blame, to run, to mask, 
again, drugs, alcohol, um, getting into some Netflix show and binge watching it just to try to escape my mind, right? And really how I, how I managed to flip it around is again, this top statement here that I made, I, do, I don't approach pain with awareness and meaningful questions. So this, this is the first step in d going into that dark place of pain. Now, if I can approach my pain from a place of awareness and ask myself meaningful questions and accept this moment of pain is very much a gift and an opportunity, then I have the ability to pull out of myself and figure out what is there for me to learn. That's the first thing. And then what is, what is that pain? What action is that pain pushing me towards? So again, if this is a dysfunctional relationship, Maybe it's you not feeling, maybe it's you not feeling growth professionally, right? Maybe it's you, maybe it's you feeling pain that you've been sort of stuck living the same way for an extended period of time. And you feel maybe shameful that you haven't taken the initiative to, to, to push through and move forward to some higher lifelines, whatever it is, but taking, taking that and really attempting to ask yourself, what is this pain trying to tell me? What is this pain trying to tell me? And how can I use that message to create a trajectory out of that pain towards resolution, right? So pain equals growth. This is me, this is me having a very positive relationship with the pain that I'm encountering. I attempt to understand pain. I challenge my pain and I let it challenge me. And I'm going to come back to that one in a moment and tell you something that's happened recently. <laughs> it was very painful. And I'm, I'm sure some of you will actually laugh and be like, God, how, how can that be? But it is. Um, but I'll get to that in a moment. I use pain as fuel for, fuel for growth. So again, this is my first and this is my first, my, my first instinctual sort of response to pain, right? It's anytime I feel it now, I have trained myself, okay, what is my, what is, what is my reality trying to tell me? What are my relationships trying to tell me? What is, what is this state of pain trying to tell me and, and how I can use whatever this, whatever is igniting this pain, how am I going to use that pain to grow in that situation? And just start shifting that perspective back to every time you feel pain, you see it as fuel for growth in some direction, right? This could be something as simple as you know, you get, you, you, you feel maybe like sitting on the couch in the evening watching your fifth hour of Netflix and you, you know, kind of like wake up and see yourself and think, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? And there's that little bit of pain. Act on that. Move on that. Change your routine up. Get out of that routine and start acting in another direction that's actually going to be productive and do something for that specific circumstance to help you grow a little bit as a person and I move on pain again so getting back to the couch analogy when you feel that feeling of like oh my god I put on 20 pounds and I'm watching five hours of Netflix a night or I'm arguing with my partner every evening um, over little shit and you know whatever's causing you pain move on it right don't just accept it and obviously don't do this right don't run and blame and mask and you know not look at what the pain is trying to tell you pain equals growth and lack of acknowledgement of what your pain is trying the message your pain is bringing you this is this is again regression fear-based living and stagnation this is you retracting into the lower nature of yourself so quickly um 
my story, I challenge my pain and I let it challenge me. Most of you probably didn't notice, I don't know, maybe a few of you did, that in the last couple of weeks my videos maybe haven't seemed as fluid or as um, well put together as some in the past. I don't know, maybe it's all in my mind, but I had an incredible few weeks of making videos and not using them and take after take after take and after about a week and a half of this, I was in serious pain. I would go and tell my partner, I can't seem to make a good video for the life of me. I don't know what happened, I lost it. And, and I, even on, on, well, on one occasion, I started crying because I tried so many takes of this video and I had such a good lesson lined up and I just couldn't seem to get it. And I was stumbling and stuttering and, and messing up and I would retake and I would get frustrated and I couldn't get the message right. And it really just kept, it kept, imp like it kept happening were it, it, it impacted and it got worse and worse and worse and I at a certain point was like okay you know what I'm gonna stop doing the YouTube videos this is too painful and I did take a couple of days off a break but then I was like no you know what you're being challenged right now your pain is challenging you and you're gonna challenge it and you're actually going to continue to make the videos even in the presence of all this stuff and this pain that I was feeling about feeling inadequate or feeling um, like I wasn't doing a good job or that I had lost it or that I was a failure or whatever it was. And again, bringing that stuff along for the ride and continuing taking action, moving on the pain, not allowing the pain to stop me in my tracks and stop seeing myself to that end frame, right? This is really where it's at. This, this is where a lot of people I think give up. They encounter something along the way and then that thing stops them in their tracks. It's too painful to push through. Now I'm not saying push through in an inner intention kind of way, but just understanding that every single day is going to be different, either in a positive growth, um, you know, in a positive growth kind of way, or in a pain way that's going to equate to positive growth. So the, the fact that I was feeling the pain um, of doing these videos, even after I've been doing them for a year, I was like, okay, there's something, there's something there. There's some reason that this is happening and I'm feeling pain from this. And I still don't know exactly what that thing is. I'm sure it will reveal itself to me. But the main thing is, is I didn't let it stop me and I continue to push through and try to make the videos and try to <laughs> bring it to you guys, right? So I move on it. I do not allow it to stop me in my tracks. So before I end this video, I know it's getting, getting a little long here. I want to ask you all to pinpoint one area of your reality today, one area of your life that's causing you pain, right? A dysfunctional relationship, uncertainty with your professional um, career, maybe something going on with family, children, yourself, maybe you're in physical pain, right? That's another part, physical pain. So what is happening in your life that may be, that may be um, resulting in pain that you're not approaching with awareness and meaningful questions, asking yourself, how can I use this right now to fuel growth in this part of my life and possibly find a, another, another higher lifeline through this growth, right? Through this growth that is rooted with pain, trying to get you to to make a move, right? Make a move, make a move. That's what it boils down to. Make a move, 
pinpoint what is causing you pain and how you can move on that pain and find meaning in that pain and use it as fuel to get you to some of those higher lifelines. So let me know your thoughts on this one, everybody. This is kind of a rubber meets the road sort of video and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Thank you for liking this video and subscribing and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys.